So here's a costly lessons learned. Um, this fuel valve shutoff in my Cessna 150F was installed and uh, it's 180 degrees out. So this side should be on the pilot side. And uh, when it's off, it's not down. The off position on all Cessnas is up. So that's off, that's on. Of course, this tab should be over on the pilot side. So what happened? Well, I had the wrong orientation when I took the other one out. I took a picture of flight and it was actually should have been flopped over. But that was for reference only. Um, if we take a moment and go back, we can see where it's very, it's kind of difficult. So we're talking about the service manual, which I have copies. I made a copy, a huge book. And uh, when we go to the service manual, when we look, we'll see how it's installed. And of course, we also got confused on the placarding. Um, I've got placarding that's consistent with this type of placarding. We didn't have a placard when we got the aircraft, which just means it really was unairworthy. And so we built a placard, but you can see prior to 150F. So going to the service manual, you'll see it's on the floor now. It's a square placard on the floor. And then you can also see the orientation that this uh, joiner and this 90 are on the passenger side. And um, that's not the orientation in our aircraft. So first we thought that the selector needed to be reclocked, but now I've found the definitive problem. Hundreds of dollars to install it, AMP hours, and now we gotta undo it. The main thing is, is what's difficult is just the, the wear and tear on the hardware, torquing, detorquing, torquing back up, but gotta have it right. Um, all Cessnas shutoffs have to be consistent. That's how we fly these aircraft. So thank you for watching.